How did I get caught up in the Toyota RV Micro Mini Motorhome game? It's a long story. Let me tell you. So it all started back in January of 2012. My then five-year-old and I were on the open road in our new Sun Raider. I'd always loved the look, compact design, and relatively good gas mileage for an RV on these Toyotas. And now my kid and I were driving one. For just a moment, life was perfect. My God, look at the way he looked at me. Here's how he looks at me now. <gasps> Anyhow, back to the story. Life was perfect just for a moment, but up a hill halfway home, we overheated. I blew the head gasket and sold it on the spot from a parking lot on the side of the road for $500. I was crushed. I, I felt like it was such an avoidable mistake. And so I promised myself that someday, somehow, I would make it right. Fast forward to late spring of 2020. I replied to a Craigslist ad and got a text back right away from Julie, Freddie's owner. Meet Freddie. I took my wife with me to have a look because I'd already made up my mind sight unseen. I wanted this. And I knew she'd talk some sense into me. I'm sure her first impression of the metallic tape holding the gas filler neck in place was not a good one, but I was happy to see six lugs on the rear axles. Hey, I've linked in the description to an article about axle facts on these Toyota Micro Minis. It's an essential read for owners and prospective owners to prevent you from purchasing something that will leave your axle and bits of your family strewn about the highway. Check it out. So after a $100 deposit, the seller registering the vehicle for the first time in a few years and passing smog in the process, I handed over the rest of the cash and I was on the road again with my other kid this time in the overcab loft. Super safe. And we were homeward bound to assess the damage and figure out exactly what I just signed up for. Things looked fairly decent on the surface. Maybe a little TLC here, a little paint there, a few superficial improvements. The layout of the RV is the L-shaped dinette, model 400 in the brochure. My new rig had an interesting brace between the sides of the stovetop and the roof. The seller told me this was in place to support the roof near the AC. My sense is that these RVs weren't ever intended to support the weight of an AC bouncing down the road, and this one had suffered some sagging because of this. So I removed the AC, I offered it up for free on Craigslist, and I started investigating the damage to the roof. What I found was so discouraging. I, I stepped outside to face a project that I could have some immediate gratification from. For days, I continued carefully removing water damaged wood and insulation. I wanted to keep the demolition to a minimum so I could get my adventure started on the open road with my family. Occasionally, I encountered surprises and I put them aside or in an envelope and sent them to the previous owner. And so, as I peeled back the layers of the dolphin, I found more rot, more need for repair and rebuild. After taking everything I'd removed to the dump, I came home, cleaned off the frame, and literally painted myself into a corner. So it begins. My name is Blake Hansen. Be sure to subscribe and join me on this next phase of this adventure. <laughs>